I was getting ready to install the transmission on the motor or in the truck or whatever, but had to modify the case. Cut that ear off. Because it didn't. The floorboard right there and it hit it. Cut the corners off too. For more clearance. That's mostly for header clearance back in there. But other than that, I guess it's about ready to stick in. Well, getting ready to set the engine in, I need to put the motor mounts back on it. And first, I gotta lift it up and get that card out from underneath it. We'll get the engine set in. And I'll have to put the transmission in. I've been waiting for this stuff that I painted to dry. Paint my bolts and the spacers for my motor mounts. Feels like it's getting pretty dry. It's probably about ready to stick in. engine sitting down in there I just need to get the transmission up in there and bolt it on hopefully there's enough room there should be took a little time to do that because there's I had to put some washers in behind the mount on each side they're not quite matching just some swap meat junkyard stuff I found I actually found these top mounts at the junkyard and the bottom came from the swap meet, so must not be the exact match. Let me see the washers on that side too. Anyways, he's a little close right there. If I remember right by the time you jack the back of the engine up where it's supposed to be, there's a little bit of gap there. So next thing is get the transmission ready. I got the tranny off the stand. There's the transmission jack over here, but I think it might need some oil in it. It doesn't seem to be wanting to lift all the way up. I need to put the converter in. I need to stick the O-ring on the shaft too before I do that. Hard to see down in there, but there's an O-ring down in there. Got the transmission on the transmission jack. After I put some oil in it, should be good to go. Down in here is that O-ring groove. Right uh, there, and this fancy little green O-ring goes on there, and that is for your lockup converter. If you don't have that on there, you don't have the lockup converter. I'm gonna oil that up, stick it on there, and then I'll dump a quart of oil in the torque converter, and install it in there, and hopefully. You can lift her up, bolt her on the back of the engine. I also wired it on and strapped it on so it's on there nice and sturdy. 
doing this by myself, so I want it strapped on there. If there's somebody else here, we could both handle it and get it up in there. All right, here's the torque converter I'm using. Here's the TCI. Uh, what the number is there? T42950, bolt together, three discs, multi-clutch lockup converter for 4L80. I had them custom stall it. The same as a Super Street Fighter, which is what, 3500, somewhere in that area. So I'll dump a quart of oil in this. And once I get that done, I'll lift it up, stick it in there. To the transmission, see, I got that o ring on in there. And we'll be ready to install it. You go, drink up. Glug, glug, glug. I did this before on the Impala and it went bloop, bloop, and it's puked oil everywhere. So, I'll take it easy on it, not fill it too fast. Got her full of oil, almost a full quart. You smear some oil around the outside here so the seal isn't dry. I just want to dump some oil in it, that way nothing's running dry. This thing's pretty heavy, it might slow me down. It's not like your normal 10 inch converter or 9 inch or whatever this is considered. It's pretty heavy, it's probably all that multi clutch lockup stuff in it. I got the damn converter to go all the way in. I was having a hell of a time getting that to go in. You only get to go about three quarters of an inch. It needs to be more than an inch, which it is now. Because if you measure the back of the block, get out of there, get some light up here. It measures exactly one inch. Anyways, now I should be able to put it in. I had to push it up against the hoist. I could get a good push on it to get it to go in. We'll try to get it up in here in a second. Got it up in there, got the bottom two bolts up in there on each side. Right there. On the other side. And then the cork, cork, the torque converter. It's spinning in there, so that's good. I need to get the upper bolts in and get those tightened down. Might have to do that from up above and off to the side because that bolt there. Up there, I could probably get to. I think the top two got to be done from up above, and this corner one here, pretty close to the floorboard. That's going to be the tough one. As long as I get the bolt in, I can probably get a wrench on it from up above. Need a dipstick. I'll have to modify that because the only ones I have are for full size trucks, and they're probably going to be too long. 
I have to change the settings, the angle settings. I could do it on the Impala. What else? Oh, a cross member. Tighten this up, the mount, put the cross member in. And put her tank in, who can work on the arms.